Good morning, beautiful people. How are you this beautiful Monday morning? Sunny and just right in Winnipeg. I think we're at about 20 degrees already and gonna hit maybe 30, 31 today. So it's gonna be a gorgeous day. Hope you're enjoying it. Excuse me. So, wow. Busy week, folks. Lots to tell you, lots to tell you. And yes, I'm driving the Beamer today, as you can tell by the beautiful sunroof, because Lord knows my car does not have a sunroof. So, I've been going to Orange Theory Fitness on the regular for about, I don't know, a month and a half, maybe two months now. I try to go every couple of days and at least minimum twice a week and I am loving it. I love the interactivity. I love that it's group. I love that it's small and I love that the trainers know exactly what to do to help me with my modifications. So speaking of modifications, I happen to, oh this is a very bumpy road. This is not very good but excuse me guys. You're going to have to excuse me. It's just Archibald is not it's not a good road. But anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I went to the doctor last, or the plastic surgeon. I was referred to a plastic surgeon, I think, last year, yes. So I had a CT scan, because I always had this little bubble in my belly, and I was told my abs has separated, so that means skin is pop popping through or pushing through. So I was like, okay, so they referred me to a plastic surgeon, said it's not a hernia, it's not anything I can get fixed, it's just something I have to do with plastic surgery, and over time, grow and build my, my ab muscles. So I go to see this guy last week, and what does he tell me? Yeah, you have a hernia, and that's your colon sticking out. My colon, people, like, oh my God. And he says it's pretty close to the skin surface. So I'm sitting here freaking out. Uh, I've never had any pain, never been uncomfortable. It's just like this bubble of skin that I always push back in all the time. But I constantly look like I'm four to five months pregnant all the time. In the morning, my stomach is flat, but by the end of the day after eating and everything, I look pregnant every single day. So here I am thinking, man, my abs have been so badly separated. That's what it has to be, must be, blah, blah, blah. And now to know that I was misdiagnosed and I actually have a transverse colon hernia, which apparently is hard to diagnose, but at the same token was listed as a possible on my CT scan. So, I don't know, I'm a little uh, disenchanted with the medical system right now that I happen to work for. So I'm, uh, I'm a little, you know, off kilter with that. So now we'll see how long it'll take before I get a referral again with a general surgeon to see if they will be able to fix me up. And of course, you know, wedding in six months. <laughs> so I'm a little, yeah, disenchanted. That's probably the word I'll use with, for that right now. But I'm glad I know what it is now. I'm glad I know what I can do about it. And I just wanna get it done and over with and get myself fixed up, right? Because it's all about health and wellness, folks. It's all about health. We only have one life to live. So, uh, with that, I was like, okay, hon, we're going out. We need to go out Saturday night. I want to have some drinks and go out and go walking and about and all that kind of stuff. So we went to the keg downtown and I want to let you guys know that they have their lobster summer menu, which is only until the 28th. So you have six days left till the 28th to try out these lobster dishes so there was tons of appetizers a couple of casual dishes and of course all the mains we stuck to appetizers because we weren't starving um, but they were so delicious and that whole entire time we were there we watched the hip on CBC so the tragically hip what an amazing story great Canadian band and uh, lead singer Gord Downey is incurable incurable brain cancer and he gave the show of his life Saturday night and I sat there and there were so many memories from from high school and beyond that those songs just took me back and it was it was very emotional it was really emotional I didn't think I would get emotional but I really did um, and I, I just wish him all the best in these you know final kind of moments of, of the next part of his life as he enjoys life with his family and a big thanks to him and the tragically hip for bringing Canada together and just putting on a fabulous show. It was, it was, it was awesome. Anyone that watched it would say the same. So 
that's why I'm always saying guys you know life is too short you just gotta live it and be passionate about what you do and take care of each other because things like this happen to great people like you know my mom oh look at that big sun right there <laughs> sorry guys my mom passed away from cancer way too soon here we have someone who is all about Canadian community he's he's on uh, a journey that's you know to the end of his life and it's just sad it's sad because you know it's it's it happens to such good people good strong people anyway this sun is gonna be the bane of my existence right now <laughs> so you guys will have to deal um, and then the Olympics oh my gosh the Olympic ceremonies ended yesterday closing ceremonies yesterday and I tell you folks I that's the one thing our family did often over the past couple weeks is watch the Olympics together and cheer on Jamaica, cheer on Canada, cheer on Poland. Uh, we cheered on everybody pretty much. It was just such a great thing to watch just the amazing athletes that are in this world and doing such great things and some of them that are so young, 16 years old, like my daughter is only 14 turning 15, you know, it's, it's crazy. I loved it. In the meantime, I have some giveaways happening right now. So Subway Canada, $100 gift card. So get your sand wish granted by entering my giveaway on my blog, peckcitylovely.com, of course. And I also just put up, finally, the Thermia giveaway. So that's the Thermia Spa Experience here in Winnipeg. That's for Winnipeg residents and surrounding areas only. And that's a beauty, $185 value that's Gourmet lunch for two, two thermal experiences along with bathrobe rentals. Can't go wrong with that. It's a great summer giveaway and I'm so happy I could be hosting it. So be sure to enter and share and talk about it and let me know how your summer's been going because I want to know. There, my hand again. Okay. <laughs> what else? I've been working with a couple other companies that are very um, health conscious as well. So you guys know that I live for my lean fit protein shakes. I live for them. And so I'm gonna be working with them in the next little while and you may see a giveaway or two on the blog about that. I'll be sure to share. Yeah, what's in here? Lean fit protein, vegan protein, of course. And why do I drink vegan protein? Well, because after doing a food intolerance test, an advanced uh, enhanced food intolerance test whey is not good for me so I am not to have whey at all so uh, most proteins have whey protein isolate and I can't have it. it makes my stomach even worse so I'm dealing with the vegan stuff now and it seems to be working well it's easy to make so I love it but like I said you'll see more on the blog soon enough okay yes mm. ah, big zip what else Lara bar okay so when I'm traveling, I like to have energy, of course, and I like to make sure I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible because when you travel, and you're in hotels, and you're at conferences and retreats and stuff, you eat everything. Well, I do, because <laughs> I'm away, so yeah. <laughs> but I've been very, very diligent and making sure that I have healthy, conscious snacks, so I always have water, and a Lara bar. So those are fruit and nut bars. Typically, I'm not a nut girl. Um, but I love the Lara bars because literally there are two, three, four, five, six max ingredients in them. And literally you could actually reproduce Lara bars by yourself in your own kitchen with the product. So they have a new special edition lemon Lara bar out right now. All you need are dates, almonds, cashews, and a lemon. Throw that in your food processor and you're good to go. Can you believe it? I couldn't believe it so and they taste good and I'm not a lemon girl I don't like lemon there's many things that I will eat and when it comes to lemon I just don't bother but these taste delicious I can actually get with it maybe it's the dates that give it that good balance but Lara bars are awesome so what's up for this week another very busy week um, because it's a short week for me guess who's traveling again this girl right here yep going to Toronto gonna see a couple of our very good friends get married on Friday so we're headed out to Toronto Wednesday evening and coming back on the weekend and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be MC of the wedding yeah me in Toronto yeah 
So it's just my fiance and I going. So you know I'm always looking for awesome things to do in the T.O. We'll be staying downtown at the Strathcona Hotel. So big ups to Hotwire because hotels seem to be very, very busy in Toronto this uh, for this week. And so I was hoping, you know, maybe I could do a review and perhaps be uh, lucky enough to get a media rate or something like that. But no go. It's just way too high volume right now. And so we got hot wire and that's probably less than any media rate I could ever get anyway. So it was awesome. A good deal. Hopefully the hotel's nice. Never been there to the Strathcona and it's all within a great distance of entertainment and food and all this stuff. So stay tuned to my Snapchat, my Instagram stories, Facebook live. You know how I do. Come on. You will see everything that I'm talking about when I'm in Toronto this weekend. And last but not least, my favorite thing to tell you right now before I pull into work is I am going to Detroit. What? Yes, why? Because I'm going to Ford World Headquarters. Yes, I will be in September, mid-September, I will be at the Ford Consumer Trends Conference Media, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I got invited. I had to say yes, of course. Yep, I'll take unpaid days from work. I don't care. <laughs> These types of events are something you don't pass up. And I already told you guys from earlier in the year, I'm not saying no anymore to those types of opportunities that allow me to be in the presence of others in media, etc. Because you guys know that's what I love. That's what I love to do. So check me out in September. Of course, I'll give you guys more heads up and info as to where to find me when I will be in Detroit for two days. And guess what? I'm going to be driving or not driving the new autonomous car. So you guys better be staying tuned to my YouTube, my videos, all that kind of stuff because it's going to be fabulous. Anyways, folks, I'm at work now. It's been great chatting with you. Got to swipe in. And uh, I want you all to have a fabulous week. And of course, be good to each other. This is the same thing I'm gonna say every single week, guys. It doesn't get old because it's just the truth. So live your passion, be passionate about what you do, enjoy life, it's way too short. Hug somebody today, kiss somebody today, give someone a smile, whatever it is. You know, it's just be positive, have fun, be optimistic, do what you gotta do. And I'll be doing the same, as you know. All right, so have a fabulous week, guys, and stay in touch to all my social media channels because it's gonna be a busy one. Woo! Okay, love you guys. Bye!